Hello, one and all, and welcome to Let's Play Ed, Ed, and Eddie the Misadventures. I am the Max Few Trade. So I was thinking to myself, you know what I haven't done enough of on this channel? Licensed games, honestly. Sure, a lot of them aren't exactly what one might call good, but it was a large part of my past and many others, so I felt like it was more appropriate for me to actually willingly do so. So I decided I wanted to play this. Now, as much as it ungodly pains me to even utter this sentence, to those of you who are too young to know what Ed and Eddie is, it was part of the original pantheon of Cartoon Network TV shows back in the day. I say back in the day, it was the late 90s, 2000s, you know, whatever. Point is, I watched it a lot growing up. It's always been a sentimental favorite of mine. We're gonna see what this is all about. I've actually not played this game. Now, the uh, theme song is continuously replaying itself in the background, so how about we just start this game so that I have some semblance of a chance of getting this thing monetized. Let's go! Maybe, it's possible. I expect something wacky and silly, because that is the way that Ed, Ed and Eddie do. So, Sockhead, where are we gonna get enough ice to make snow cones? I'm sure we could locate sufficient frost shavings in the backyard coolers of the neighborhood kids, Eddie. I am cool like a cabbage, guys. <laughs> Almost, buddy. Almost. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is exactly what I kind of figured it was going to be. Collect ice cubes to make snow cones. That is the main major goal. Oh my goodness, look at them. <laughs> they do not translate to 3D very well. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is actually kind of hilarious. Whoa. What do you even... What, what even... Is that a yo-yo? Or is that his pocket chain? I'm not entirely sure. Interesting. Uh, oh, select Ed by pressing the R button. Oh, 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 oh. All right. When an object glows, it means you can interact it with, with it by pressing the Y button. Note it. Okay. Well, just to very quickly make this well known to anybody who may not know, Ed, Ed and Eddie is a very simple show, really, at the end of the day. It's about three boys, all named Ed, essentially, ostracized for different reasons by the town, by the, the other kids in the school, or the cul-de-sac, as it is called, as this is where every episode, except for the later seasons, took place. Ed, because he's cataclysmically stupid. Ed, because he's kind of an insufferable know-it-all. And Eddie, because he's kind of a major jerk. They basically spend their entire summer trying to scam the money out of their quote-unquote friends and hopefully try to get themselves candy. Specifically jawbreakers the size of your head. It's a simple show and a simple premise, but man, do they ever make it work. All right, so interactables. Gotcha. Hey guys, there's a cooler by Jimmy. You finally have a chance to use your head, Ed. Come on, Lumpy, show that cooler who's boss. I can do that to do a basic attack. Ah, makes sense. Squirrel! Yeah, you better run, Jimmy. You better run in fear of the squirrels. All right, then. Of course, that's how Ed attacks. Well, how else would he do it? Interesting, that. All right, he can also smash around and he can chuck things. Makes sense. He's the big dumb muscle guy. It is what he do. All right, then. Oh, switch to Eddie. But okay. To Eddie. Press X to launch stink bombs. The El Mando stink bomb? All right, cool, cool, cool. Most enemies are stunned by stink, stink bombs. Animals can be picked up by Ed, but first you need to stun them. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right, then. These don't seem very consistent to hit idea. with. You guys push me, and I will smash the wood with my head. I mean, that sounds like a viable strategy. Sure. Uh, how precisely would one go about doing so? Also, derp, da -da -da, hang on. wham -a Thank you very much. We need I said cubes. We've got to do this. Uh, you see... The Eds don't typically make money the standard way most people do. They are more content with scamming people out of their money. So basically, honestly, you might think it's it, it, the idea is minimal effort for maximum payout, but 
Honestly, the things they do go so far above and beyond the standard conventions of reality that, honestly, I feel like they probably do deserve that money. All right, oh, press the L button with Ed to perform the batter Ed formation. This move can be used to smash through big objects. All right. Oh, well done. This formation is used to smash through objects. Could I maybe get a better look at it? Whoa, okay. I get you. I get you. Woo. Okay, cool. All right, oh, I don't know how to stop though. Chickens are present in each level. Catch the chicken by stunning it, any attack, and then grabbing it with Ed. All right. If there's something you gotta know about Ed, my dude loves himself some chickens. All right then, so chicky 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 chick 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 Oh, retry chicken chase? Yes, because I spent the majority of it not knowing that that was what I was supposed to do. All right. Get over here, chicken! Maybe if I... Oh, I think I picked up something. Okay, hang on, hang on. All right, don't want to crash into things. That seems to be a, a very serious thing. All right, now. Oh. Uh, somehow, it was already stunned. It was already stunned. What the heck? <laughs> uh, yes, try again. Okay, let's actually make this happen. Catch him! There we go! That... We made the chicken explode, apparently. That seems like a minor issue. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I feel as if Rolf is not going to be okay with the- That's a big kitty cat! There's a- There's a heckin' chunky lad! Alright, well don't worry, little fellow. I will not bother you none. I- I sense no real desire to mess with you. Oh, okay, hi! Find a cat to lift and throw with the dog to get him away from that cooler. Oh! All right, so that's the way we're going about it. Fair enough. Let's see, sorry, my little dude. I would actually very much like to not do this to you, but I don't have uh, much choice, it seems. Uh, I, I found a cat. I'm trying to lift and throw said cat. There we go. Oh, this cat has seen better days. Oh, you poor miserable creature. I am not about to make your day any better. Oh dear. Okay, well, uh, sorry, little dude. All in the name of getting myself some moolah, I suppose. Gotta get that cashola. Gotta get them quarters for the job breakers. That's the whole thing, y'all. All right then, all right then. It's interesting how many coolers are just kind of in everyone's backyards right now. And they always seem to have like one giant ice cube per case. That seems a little odd to me, but you gotta make your levels work somehow. Fair enough. Oh, hello. Favorite food group. Okay, wow, I found a jawbreaker. Collect them all to unlock special features. Ooh! Alright, and there's 40 in total. Okay. I have no idea how many that's gonna be, though. Look! Another cooler! More ice for my scam! <laughs> but first, uh -oh. we get rid of that loudmouth sister of yours, Ed. Quick, Sock Ed! Use your slingshot on Jimmy's dolls! Violence only begets violence, Eddie. Do it, you sissy! Watch those water balloons! Fine. But it will be on your guilty conscience. <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. It's like, oh, I don't really want to do that. Do it, you nerd. All right, fine, but you're the one who has to feel bad about it. Press the Z button to enter first person view. Ooh. Gotcha. All right, fair enough. I'll tell mom. Yeah, I'm sure you will, you creepy little weirdo. Okay, don't worry about that. Let's just completely mess with things. In their pursuit of constantly doing these things, yeah, uh, the Eds kind of deserve a lot of what they have coming to them. All right, so don't mind me, just hitting the dolls. There you go. Sorry about that, Jimmy. Except not entirely. You're kind of a kind of a wuss. Assault complete. Alrighty, very good, very good. Now, how do I stop that? There we go. All right. How do you attack? Oh, you smack stuff with a ruler, because you're a nerd. I get it. I get it. All right, that takes care of debt. Switch to Ed to lift and throw squirrels into the window of the house? Uh, okay, sure. Don't mind me. Just gonna absolutely mess with the local wildlife. This seems like a bit of an infestation of squirrels, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. This doesn't seem very advisable. All right, then in you go, Squirrely Jones. Uh, I guess we're gonna need another one. All right. Don't mind me, not I'll throw in as many squirrels into this person's house as we need. No concerns. In you go. Uh-oh, I missed. Hang on, can I try again? Hang on, sorry. Wow, this squirrel's having the worst day ever. All right, in you go. All right, still not enough. All right, come on now, come on now. One more to go of it, one more to go of it. Toss the squirrel, toss the squirrel. 
There you go. Oh, I make a good squirrel pusser, huh, Abby? Yeah! Nice job, Mono Bro. Let's head in. You know, if the whole goal was to just get inside the house, and assuming that the door is locked and that's why we couldn't just go in normally, uh, couldn't we have just gone through the window? It is, frankly, absurdly large. All right, the whoa! Oh, wow, this place is a sty. Let's throw the fridge at the door to weaken it. I don't think this particular door is going to be all that reinforced, but, uh... Okay, Loki. Sure. Try batter it on the door and finish it off. Oh, there, and we got ourselves that ice cube. I thought, I thought that was a little strange. All right, so we softened the door up. Is it possible for me to get this thing out of the way? No, it doesn't seem so. All right, then let's just bust through and hope for the best. Go for it! All right, then. All right, causing chaos in the garage. Ooh, some coinage. Very nice. Hang on. Yeah, I'll, I'll gladly take any of that. I feel like I should be smashing more stuff now. Noted, noted. When you're an edge, you gotta get yourself some of that moolah. Okay. <laughs> this game isn't a big fan of transitions between rooms, it seems. Fair enough, fair enough. That's the beauty of the licensed game. Wonderful in some places, not so much in others. Also, oh, okay, the squirrels have become aggressive. The squirrels are aggressive. The squirrels are, they are, they are upset at everything that we've done to them. You know what, that's fair and decent and I, I should honestly have expected it. All right then. Uh, really? Okay, get off. Hey, um. check out those balls. They're just the right size for my scam. That's a meatball maker. Cool it, Stretch. We're just gonna borrow your machine for a bit. Surely you just hands like a baby, Ed Boy. Only after you have toiled in field like the son of a shepherd can you use such a machine. Be gone! Jeez, what's with that guy? He's always just kind of been the big weirdo. All right then, so I need to toil in filth before I can use the meatball maker? Fair enough. Uh, would being assaulted by squirrels count in that endeavor at all? I wonder. I I'm asking for a friend, you see. Let's see. There's a bunch of bits. Oh. Oh. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Well, hang on. Get the damn squirrel off my arm. Okay. Yeah, get off. How do I get, get out of here? Good God. The squirrels are aggressive. Oh, that has his rabies shots. Boom. How about that noise? Now try to stop us. We get to use the machine when we're done. <laughs> Solve the problem that you caused! I guess he doesn't know that part. Alright, that don't mind me. Lift and throw the piggies! Eh! Okay, come on. There you go. I don't think any of these ones are, uh... Dang, I'm trying to remember the actual name of the pig, but for some reason, it's lo I'm lost on me. Was it Abner? No. Abner, I think that was the pig in Hey Arnold. Uh, and I think Walter was the name of his goat. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, man, that's really bothering me that it's, I'm drawing a blank here. I don't like that at all. Uh, in fact, you know what? No, this will not stand. Give me a moment. Wilfred! That's the name! I don't think any of these particular piggy pigs are Wilfred. There we go, though. Okay. <laughs> I wasn't about to have somebody in the comments correct me on on a show I enjoy this much. Alright, then. Also, is it just me or did one of the pigs run in on their own? Did I only lift two? Hard to say. There was a brief break in there that kind of messed, me messed up my brainscape. Doesn't really matter. Meatball machine! Oh, hello. Switch to Ed, and oh, he can do things with stuff because he's the smart pants. Gotcha. Also, even better than lint-free socks, fresh out of the dryer. I don't think there is such a thing as a lint-free sock, if I'm being 100% honest with you. But uh, continue that never-ending struggle, my dude. Let's boogie. My, my, intriguing. Oh, there we go. I've just completed scam one. Cool your head. Current game completion nine percent. Wow, all right, this is not a long game. I, 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 I kind of knew that, but wow, all right, sure. Fine by me. So how does the whole scam fall apart? Snow cones for suckers. We're gonna be rich. Oh, 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 oh
Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> well, I don't really think that fell apart too much exactly, but understandable. I guess the implication is that Ed had just ate all of them. But I have a couple of issues with how that played out. One, I, cartoon logic can explain why a meatball machine can be used as a snow cone machine. Fine, that, that shouldn't work in real life, but I'm not going to question that. What I am going to question is the fact that it seemed like you were just making legitimate snow cones. I mean, snow cones are basically just shaved ice. So, I mean, they were meat flavored. I'm not sure how big of a market you're going to get for that, but I think you'd be selling a legitimate product. That's really not much of a scam, if I'm being honest with you. Regardless, cul-de-sac. And so we are indeed at the cul-de-sac. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, do you wish to leave this level and go to the next? Uh, I'd actually like a brief moment to survey the landscape if it's all the same with y'all. Hi, Johnny. Hi, Plank. Okay, well, I can't I can't hit him, but I can try. Fair enough, fair enough. Hello, Rolf. How you doing? Alrighty. The cul-de-sac is looking a little bit uh, larger than it used to be, if I'm being entirely honest with you. But eh, it is what it is. No problems, no problems. I'm just curious about any other such things. Ooh, got some kind of alleyway going on in here. What's that all about? Ooh, hello. One cent. That's something. What's all this about? Do I get an explanation? Oh, hang on. Uh, Double D knows how these things work, yeah? My, my. Intriguing. There you go. I received the vintage Jawbreaker Italian. Mm, this should work. Oh, I get you. I get you. My, so for my. an escalating Intriguing. price, I get different jawbreakers from the machine. Makes sense. Okay. My, my. Not entirely sure what exactly about those are Italian, German, and Scottish, mm, but to each that sells. All right. I believe... Oh, I don't have enough money. My. All right. Well, the fact that I can't really see how much money I have is a bit of a problem. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Scam one. Cool your head. So there was an egg, two jawbreakers, and something I'm missing, actually. Okay. Interesting. Rebel robot rent. Oh. oh, okay. Hang on. Scam six. What up? What's scam two then? Pin the tail on the end. Four jawbreakers, one egg, one shirt. Not My entirely sure what that intriguing. would end up being exactly. I guess we'll find out soon enough. All right. All right. I do appreciate the fact that the game is willing to actually at least tell me how much of anything is in any given level. That's going to make things a little bit easier for me, I think. I absolutely love the translation of their trademark run cycles into 3D. Also, what happened to Ed? Ed oh, there you are. <laughs> Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, and we have decided to take a tire. You cannot stop us. It is what we are. Oh! Uh, not sure what this is all about. Uh, how do I stop it? There we go. Okay. I hit the wrong button is what I did. Ah, okay. You get a different move depending on who's in charge. Not 100% sure what these other ones are going to be all about, but I'm sure we'll figure it out soon enough. Just get past all the stank clouds. We don't need that in our lives. All right, next level it is. Let's go. Ah, Ed boys. Cast aside like old bath water that has not been used for broth. Pale Jimmy refuses the nincompoops from entering his celebration. Hello. Goodbye. What? Rude. Wait a minute. We can't let a chump like Rob keep us from this party. We gotta get in there. Oh, I know, I know. We can crawl through the stinky sewers like the bacteria fusing blob in I was a teenage slime chippy. I don't know. It seems terribly risky and unsanitary, to say the least. It'll be a cinch. Come on, boys. We got a party to catch. <laughs> Not to argue the efficiency of the method, but wouldn't it make more sense to just hop the fence? But okay, find the way to Jimmy's backyard. Can do. If there's... There's basically two motivating factors for the Eds in any given situation. They want money, and they also want what they are not allowed to have. And that's usually access to places that the other kids don't let them go. And rat! We ain't messing with any rats. And yeah, okay. Ah. Also, just stands to reason that there'd be a sewer level, isn't there? Seems like every game on the face of the earth's got at least one. It's just kind of tradition at this point. Fair enough, fair enough. 
Okay, so then we've got all that going for us. Right, okay. What a chicken is doing down in the sewers, I haven't the slightest, but uh, it's far from the strangest thing that's ever I gone down. I don't know. It seems terribly risky and unsanitary, to say the least. Indeed. Don't worry about it so much. There's just only a little atomic waste. Also, that's- oh, it's a gator! It's a damn gator down here, my goodness. All right, done well. Uh, ah, okay, you got my butt. Okay, you bit my bums. My buns have been bit by a gator. Can I knock this over? Is that a thing I can do? That doesn't seem so. Also, I feel like getting rid of toxic waste with our head isn't the best idea, but it's fine, it's fine. They've been through worse. Great, what are we supposed to do now? It's elementary, Eddie. If we move down into the water on the other side, you two can lift me up to that crank. I'll lower the bridge, allowing us to cross together. Fee fi bo fum I smell cheese and onion buns. Understandable. All right, then. Ow, the trampoline. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, well, don't mind me, but before I jump down in any kind of God only knows what's it down there. Let me just make sure that there's nothing important or useful around these here parts that I can get first. Doesn't appear so, so we shall be good. Holly up! Okay, there be gators. There be gators. Why are there so many gators? Seriously, we're in the suburbs! That shouldn't be a thing! Alright, whoop, hello! Even better than lint-free socks, fresh out of the dryer. Okay, so at least that one wasn't lying in a pile of filth. So, that's a benefit. Okay, okay. Trying to avoid the gators. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just looking around. Oh, okay. It's looking like we're about to meet our untimely doom here. By the power of gates. All right, hang on. Uh, I'm afraid I can't help you with that. Okay, come on, come on, come on. All right, let's... And jump forward. There you go. Oh, God, there's a bunch of them. Okay, so there were a lot more rats up there than I had previously anticipated. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. Let's try that again. This time with a little less nonsense, you know? Yeah, okay, come on. beyond my capabilities. It's not. We're just missing Eddie. We need Eddie. Ah! Come on, guys. Work together, work together, work together. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna really need the gator to stop being a jerk for half a minute. Okay. The, the gator has definitely decided that it would rather be the worst thing. I, I get that. That's your right, Mr. Gator Man, but still. Okay, I'm about to die for a second time. And I did. And I did. All right, then. Well, then let's do as the game said. It said th these can stun things. I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't really feel like that's something that should be working on gators, considering they live in the sewer and what have you. And it didn't seem like it did either. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I killed it. I have destroyed the gator! Alright, we have, uh, we have murdered an animal. That is not the greatest of news, honestly. I figured I could only stun enemies, not actually defeat them. Alright, well, fair enough, fair enough. Give me that health back and whatever's inside the crates. Uh, it seemed like there was a purple goo inside the crates. I don't want what's in there. <laughs> I have regrets. You may, you may continue to have them. I, I do not need them. Alright then, go, my dudes, go! Alright. Honestly, with the exception of the couple times they've gotten stuck on stuff, the AI is surprisingly pretty decent for a game like this. Alrighty, I see more toxic sludge, I see more ratadoos. Ratadoo! Ratadoo! There you go. Alright, we ain't got time for ratadoos. Please stop having everything that exists in your face. Alright then, here we go, here we go. Okay. Now that I know that I can actually annihilate mine enemies, all right, there we go. Just slap the gator. Slap the gator. Come on, slap him silly. Show that gator who's boss. Do what needs to be done. Come on. There you go. All right. That solves a lot of problems right quick. Oh, hey -oh give me that. Thank you very much. I'll take anything that this universe is willing to simply hand out to me. Okay. Just going to continue to try to wall up the gator. Wall up wally gator, as it were. Come on, get out of here. Get out of here, you, you no good nick. There you go, all right. So, uh, what's the haps over here? All right, it appears it needs some kind of key that I do not currently have. That could be a bit of an issue. I assume it is somewhere that I have been, but not too terribly far at the same time. That seems to be the general idea. Before I even think about actually spending all that time, like, figuring that stuff out, 
I am curious if I could just perhaps do this instead. Can I just smash through? As it turns out, no, no, I cannot. All right, well, might as well smash into literally every conceivable object we can find. No reason not to, as it were. And just breaking stuff. All right, let's go back to where we once were. Maybe there's something else around these here parts that I done missed. Seems very likely. In fact, it looks like there might be something over here. Hang on just a moment. Although the game doesn't seem too terribly interested in letting me go down there. Interesting. This part of it is mildly cut off from me. Interesting. Okay. Let's break everything that's breakable. Worst case scenario, we get nothing. Good case scenario, we get money. Best case scenario, we find the key that we apparently need. <laughs> oh, that's actually a classic line. Oh, it's nice that they actually included that. Very nice, very nice. All right, well, uh... Did that coin disappear from reality? I can't help but feel like that's what happened here. Bit annoying, that. But you take what you can get to suppose. Oh, wait, hang on, nope, there, there you are. Okay, no, it just kind of rolled off into another location or something. Little odd, little odd. All right, so, so far, can't help but notice, not really a lot of progress here. Where exactly I is the- do that. Yeah, I'm aware, don't worry about it, buddy. Where, oh, where is the key is that I need? I legitimately am uncertain here. It's not like there's really been a lot of places that I can go. Is it as simple as just maybe, you know, force it? Force its hand? Throw a barrel at it? I mean, we threw a thing at another thing. I mean, it looks like a keyhole, obviously, but just bear with me here, okay? Yeah, no, that definitely is not the case. Most interesting. All right, is it underneath this little bridgey do? No, it doesn't seem so. Is it way back at the start? Is that possible? It's certainly not impossible. Let's go find out. All right, out of the way, all y'alls. And any such creatures that wish to do us a harm. Hello? Are there any keys to be found around these here parts? Well, oh, hang on. I don't know about keys, but that was money. We need money. Come on. Come on, Ed. Back on your feet, laddie. Back on your feet. And smackadoo. Smackadee, smackuda. Alrighty, alrighty. What's next? What's next? I cannot do that. I do find it a little bit annoying that I can often not do stuff because they're not exactly close to each other enough. All right, well, I, it appears I found myself a bit of a stumbling block here. This game doesn't seem the most complicated, so I'm sure it's something obvious that I just kind of overlooked or something, so I'll figure it out. Oh, okay. There was no key, double D as it were, and apparently just locksmith. Okay, <laughs> that would have been Handy information to just know of, but okay. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Now I know for the future. Lock doors, not a problem. Either break them or just lock pick them. That's a thing you can do. Oh, okay, well, hang on a second. At least that's incredibly obvious, even for my silly ass. There we go. Not bad, not bad. Think there's anything down there? All right, well, there's rats. Rats, there be rats. Right, give me my energy back. As I collect blue eco from Jack and Daxter, that's a little strange. <laughs> I, I, I know it's just generic health and what have you, but I digress. It, I can't help but feel like that's what it is. Ooh, that's a big pile of money. All right, thank you. Out of the way, various gators. I've no interest in any nonsense with you. I just want the money. I want the money that somehow ended up in the sewers. Uh, the qu questions for another day, I say. All right, let's just mosey. My, my. Intriguing. We'll get ourselves out of here. Ooh, boy. Okay, hang on. Let me also just smash up some stuff if it's all the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll just take a look to lose around. Okay, we've got a fork in the road. What the heck is that? Also, I'm being attacked in the middle of a cutscene, I'd like everyone to know. I got myself absolutely annihilated. I am very near death. Okay, also, hello. What are you? Ah, what the crap? Okay, what? Is that a clam? Is that what this is? Okay, well, will it let go? 
Maybe let go of me. How do I? How do I make it stop biting my ass? How do I make it stop? Okay. All right. Somehow I managed to make that work out. Let's make the rat not be a thing. Eddie, do you mind maybe utilizing a little bit of that stink bomb technology? It might just possibly help us out with this clam situation. Okay. All right. Okay, no, 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 it didn't, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't. And then again, I guess Ed's the only one that can actually pick stuff up. All right, and we have died. We have been foiled by a clam. I'd be more upset if that wasn't ridiculously in character for everyone involved. Okay. Clam! I now have a clam. Okay, no, but then the clam... It just jumped out of my hands and it started biting me again. Okay, well, the clam is obviously important for something. I just don't know what. But you know what? Maybe I don't want to deal with gators right now. Maybe that's a thing that I would like to not have in my life. If it's all the same, y'all... All right, then. Let's grab myself some money. Constantly getting bitten by everything. Good Lord, we're going to have every disease known to man by the end of this. Die, gators. Use your dang head, Ed. Come on, now. Okay, now we get the eco. Get all of the eco. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my lord loo The heck is next? Uh, I feel like there might be something hiding? It's just, considering the fact that there are at least four jawbreakers up in this place, I kind of figured I'd run into a bit more by now, you know? I like to smash stuff! No doubt, my dude, no doubt. Okay, well, then we shall continue to smash stuff very aggressively, like so. There we go. Let's not have rats be a thing. Also, ah! Okay, okay, well, that looks like a way forward, but then... If that's for the sake of progress, then what's all this place about? Oh, well, maybe it's that. Let's find out. Yeah, it sure looks that way. Lunch me! There we go. This should work. I wonder if there was more of these things that I hadn't realized up till now. Seems very possible. Okay. Aha! Secret door! Oh, God, the rats. So many rats, though. Okay, uh, Ed, we're gonna need your head. Let's boogie. Yeah, that's definitely the best way to go about this stuff. Okay, so this doesn't look like a bonus area to me by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, this looks like it's actually kind of important, as a matter of fact. Okay, well, then let's go back. <laughs> let's head back to the area with the clam. I thought that was the, the, the main way. It was not. Understood. Moving on. There we go. All right. Now that we have suitably aggravated the clam, let's just get these out of the way, if you don't mind. Okay. Now, if you could just... Okay, no, the clam. The clam is still here, and he's still very mad and angry with me. Okay. Now, hmm, there we go. This should work. All right, here you go, there you go, there you go. Open it up, open up. Chicken! We found you, chicken! All right, hang on. Uh, hang on, hang on. I need... No, I'm using the wrong buttons. The wrong buttons! Switch to Ed! And knock it over! Okay, now stop. Stop and pick up. Stop and pick up. The cooldown on that is absurd! Alright then. When chicken chases happen, 100% of the time, always be Ed. Because he's the only one that can pick the dang thing up once you catch it. Alright, get over here, you! There you go, alright. Yoink a doo! Alright. Appreciate it. Ignore the clams, though. Alright, so that certainly seemed bonusy to me. Also, yeah, I guess clams are just enemies. But, I don't know, the cutscene sure made it seem like they were a whole lot more... Like, there was just one, so I thought it was important or something. Clearly not. Alright, then. Well, now I don't know which way is the bonus way and which way isn't. Everything seems like it's leading me down the path of being able to actually accomplish my goal. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, then. Well, let's just keep going this way and hope for the best, I suppose. I could always come back if need be. I think, at least. Uh, yellow? What have we got over here? Oh! Is this not... Oh! It just led me back to where I was. Okay, so that was, that was the bonus area. 
All right, then. Well, on the off chance that there was something else that I completely missed because I uh, went absolutely crazy just kind of booking my way through this place. This place just seems really large, you know? Anything else at all? I mean, there's a coin. That's never a bad thing. More money, more money, but also clams. Lots of clams. Are clams known for being in the sewers? Because I'll give you rats and I'll give you gators. Even though I'm pretty sure gators are more of an urban legend than anything else, I don't think you could actually find any gators in the sewers, but, you know, it, it at least makes sense. Who on the design team said, yeah, you know what we need an, up in our sewer level? We need to absolutely annihilate some fools with clams. That's what we need. That's what the kids are looking for these days. More clam-based combat strategies. I can only assume. All right, then. At least I was technically correct. All right, so that looks very destructible. So if you don't find me, there you go. Just knocking stuff over. Also a gator. Not a fan of the gator. But I am a fan of Damani that the gator be guarded. So there you go. There you go. Now give me your life essence. It is important for reasons. All right, that's very nice, very nice, very nice. Although there are still a lot of collectibles that are completely unaccounted for. I can't help but note. So, the gators are not very nice. Understandably so, I mean... I mean, admittedly, we are invading their homes, but I, I, regardless of that fact, they don't have to be as rude as they are, okay? Maybe we're lost. They don't know. They don't have to be so judgmental. That's all I'm saying. All right, then. Ooh, hello. How intriguing. The valve to operate that door is missing. Well, find it. The longer we stand around, the less people will see my latest disco moves. That is a fair cause. Understandable. Oh, hey, Johnny. Oh, hey, found it. That was easy. Johnny, may I see that valve for a moment? Planks on first, Double D. Finders keepers. Right. Oh, come on, Johnny. It's a stupid valve. You'll catch another one. What's that, Plank? You want them to do what? Okay, buddy. Plank says, find a way to lower the water so he can get the clams. Then he'll give you the valve. Oh, uh, no. Please, uh, uh, let me handle this. Yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's not go that route. That's, that'll be the atomic option. Anyway, honestly, I find it funnier to not give context for Johnny and Plank. Y basically, what you see is exactly what you get for that guy. Even by the metrics of this show and this series, uh, yeah, it's a little weird. Anyway, so that's the way we came, so let's just shaboom -a. There you go. Thank goodness we've got an unlimited supply of these things. Otherwise, we'd be in a serious bit of an issue, we would. All right, out of the way. What the heck, in heck? Ah, what the hell? All right, so, random canker sister. Okay, I guess that's a thing I need to be on the lookout for. Granted, they did always have the habit of showing up out of absolutely nowhere, so, yeah, but I digress. I digress. Uh, so did that lower the water? Okay, well, it lowered the water somewhat. Is it enough to satiate you, Johnny, or... No, it needs to be even more. Okay, that means there's more valves to be found. Whoa, God, there's the other one. Okay, there are there are three of them. There are three canker sisters. All right. Let us not be messed with up that front. Okay, there we go. There we go. Please get off of my buns. Ain't nobody need that in their life. Also, if I notice something incredibly out of the ordinary, like a hatch door on the ground, yeah, I think I have an idea of what exactly to expect. All right, the water seems down now. No, still not down enough for you? Okay, fair enough. Okay, well, that looks incredibly suspicious, so instead... Yep! All right, called that one, at least. Incredibly obvious, yes, but still, I digress. Okay, lower the water. Give me the money. There we go. Okay. I have lowered... Ah, God, the damn clams! All because he wants to hear the clams gurgle in the bucket? That's another classic quote. What? I hit three of them. Hang on. Was... Ow! Damn it! Was Double D interrupted, perhaps? Hang on. Once they get back over here... Ooh, you're in for a mess of it. Okay, yeah, cool. Can I switch characters now, if it's all the same to you, universe? Thank you. Was he interrupted? Oh, I guess so. All right. Why must the clam be the worst clam? Ow. You suck. 
Okay, well, I definitely lowered it. All right, I guess we're just still going to keep on keeping on. Oh, oh. Die, Clam! Yo! Okay, there we go. That's a, that's the third one, which is good, which is good. Which means there's only one left. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, surely you're content, yes? Or did you somehow, did your model somehow fall down here and you're not supposed to be here? Blank, are you good? Hey, Johnny. Looks like you forgot about your best pal. So, how about that valve, Johnny? These clams look kinda hungry. Blank says, bring it on, you sissies! What the sh Just give us the valve, and I'll give you Plank. Plank says you are tricky. All right, I'll give up the valve. Just don't hurt him. All right, Double D, let's install that valve and be done with it. Sure thing, Eddie. Was the hostage necessary? I, I mean, we, we did exactly what he asked. I feel like we could have just had a fair trade deal here going on, you know? I, d I don't really feel like we had to potentially murder the, the, the perfectly harmless, potentially sentient plank of wood. My potentially my nothing. It drove a bus once. It's definitely alive. The show was always really ambiguous about it, but after that, it became pretty blatant. All right, we've got more rats. We don't want to deal with no rats, no sir, no rats, no sir. All right, then. So what's up with these shirts? Or maybe even costumes? I'm not sure. I ponder how precisely I am meant to locate them. Okay, yeah. How about you don't? How about you just... Oh, that's what baking those does. They're rat generators is what they are. That makes sense. That makes sense. All right. All right. Ignoring all and other rats. Good God, that it seems like an unnecessarily large amount of gators. If my surveying skills are correct, that manhole cover should lead straight to Jimmy's backyard. Well, that sounds well and good, but that means we've missed a jawbreaker. Now, isn't it the case? Unless there's more level once we get out. Create a diversion by smashing the pinatas. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Uh, well, let's all hope that the last jawbreaker can be found here. Yep, okay. I'm aware of all that, and I will do that. I just want to try to get the collectibles first. I I don't know. Are jawbreakers typically found in piñatas? I'll be honest with you. I've only ever really been around one in my entire life, and I don't even remember what's inside those things. Now it's probably a bad time to mention I don't think I've ever even had a jawbreaker before. I'm gonna be honest with you, I do not have an answer. Hello, though, I am looking for the final one. If at all possible, I'd like to not have to redo the level. So if you could perhaps maybe fork it over, that'd be rather swell of you is all I'm really trying to get at here. No, doesn't seem so. I think I may have already lost it. Or maybe there is something in here. Hard to say. All right, so, uh, well, let's bust stuff, I guess. Okay, well, that seemed like the natural thing to do, but it did say something about the trample lead, so... Okay, um... Yeah, I probably should have paid more attention to the instructions I was given, huh? I know it said something about the trample lead. I, I know that much. Oh, there we go. Okay, no, I, 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 can, I can bounce a little bit more. Okay, I figured it out already. Don't worry, everybody. I'm not completely made out of stupid. All right, that pinata was full of cats. What brave soul stuffed a pinata full of cats? And also, why? Just throwing that out there doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, honestly. Yo, okay, so there it is. That's the last one. That's good. That's good. Now where's that last one? Okay, but we're faster not doing that. I was just kind of hoping it was really close by. Not especially. Not especially. And. Uh, what the heck are those? Vandals, hooligans, those are my pinatas. Yes, and I smashed them. Give it a rest, squirt. We're professional pinata poppers. We're doing you a favor. Oh, okay. There's that karmic retribution that's constantly going on. Oh, okay. I'm actually doing something here. Ah! 
Okay. Uh, so we gotta stop him. We gotta stop him. Makes sense. Makes sense. Smack him around. Smack him down with the butter balloons. All right. I am definitely just taking a bunch of damage. All right. So clearly I need to destroy pinatas. And beehives. Beehives. That seems good. There you go. All right. There you go. There you go. There you go. And then we draw. We do that. I'm dead. I'm dead. That is unfortunate. But we're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. There we go. There we go. All right. Please stop with all of the awful being. I know that isn't your entire modus operandi, but I digress. Bees! <laughs> they seem only mildly perturbed by that. All right, then bees! Release the bees! I mean, I get it. You're supposed to, like, knock this stuff on them. Okay, fine. I have it your way. Drop a fridge on them. There you go, more bees, more fridges. I'll keep jumping on, I'll dump all the dang things on you. I don't give a dang. All right then, let's see. I don't know why we're specifically going after like Marie exclusively here though. The other two are hiding out in the hatches. Everyone else, like, we're just really wailing on the on her alone. Lee and, Lee and Mar uh, Lee, Marie. Why am I blanking on names today? I just always thought of them as the Canker Sisters exclusively. I don't really think about their names. It's not like they- May! Lee, Marie, and May. There we go. Right. And we were basically just assaulting Marie. It was Lee and May that were kind of getting all scot-free there. Anyway, success! Maybe. We'll see how it goes. The party's over, dorks. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, come on, Jimmy. There's gotta be some cake left, right? Here, you can lick the icing from my candles. Well, at least one of them is happy. There we go. <laughs> That's how a typical episode goes down. <laughs> Love it. All right, mild issue about the fact that I still didn't find that costume piece. I guess I found the other stuff that matters, which is nice. Well, that's gonna bug me. Also, uh, am I to take it that this game has six levels? I guess that makes sense. Fair enough. I'm gonna have to do myself some investigatorial work to see if I can find what those things I'm missing are. I mean, you can't just dangle the possibility of costume-related things and, you know, not give them to me. Also, can I? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Also, I, I believe I said no, but uh, I have to be down here anyway. I'll look for stuff. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Who knows where the heck these things are supposed to be?